Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. According to a poll I posted recently, you want to see more bare metal Raspberry Pi synthesizers and also a bit of late 90s Yamaha handheld synths. And you're in luck because that's exactly what I have for you today. This is mini synth running on a Raspberry Pi and here's the Yamaha QY70. For better or worse, today's synth is an easy build. So if you want to know what this is all about, please follow me along in this video. Here we go. And here's what you need for today's video. First and foremost, a Raspberry Pi. This here is Model 3, which once was around 35 credits but now is out of stock. Here's an SD card to store the software on. Any size will do, the synth is really small. Here's an audio header sound card for around 20 credits, you'll need this for higher quality audio. And here's a touch screen, you don't need this model here, but one of the cheap screens will do as well. Some HDMI and USB cables for connecting stuff and a MIDI controller. And that's it. Now download the software. There's a zip file containing a pre-compiled image. That's what we'll need. Next assemble the hardware and then return to your PC. Unzip the file you downloaded previously to an SD card and then create a folder named org or something and copy all the kernel images into it. Then copy all the files from the folder touch screen calibrator to the road folder of the SD card. Next, edit the file command line txt and add this command to the first line. This will tell the Pi to use the sound card instead of the headphone jack. Now insert that SD card into the Pi and turn it on. You now need to calibrate the screen. Touch the crosshair icon four times and write down the command displayed on screen. Now put the SD card back into your PC, open the command line txt file and add that command to the first line and then save that. Then copy back the kernel images from the org folder to the root directory. Put the SD card back into the Pi and turn it on. Congratulations, you've built yourself a mini synth. Let's take a closer look. Here is the first patch. This is a simple virtual analog synth. It's 24 voice polyphonic. Each voice is made up from two oscillators. There are all the things you'd expect from such a synth. Oscillators that can produce various wave shapes and noise, a low pass filter with resonance, envelopes and LFOs. You can use the touch screen to change the parameters live. change you make is saved to SD card instantly. You can use an on-screen keyboard to name your patches and there's a patch browser to switch sounds. There's also a reverb, but it's a little bit noisy and lo-fi. This is all a bit dry and not real intuitive. Let's change this setup a bit. And here we have a small, inexpensive <coughs> reverb pedal and a simple MIDI controller. Let's set up that MIDI controller first. So on the project's webpage you can see this synth can respond to a small number of MIDI CC data, namely filter control and tuning. So let's connect the MIDI controller to the PC and set up some of the controls for filter cutter frequency, resonance and oscillator 2 tuning. And now it's much easier to tweak the sound live, which doubles the fun instantly.
Oh, by the way, if you like content like this, and if you want to see more on bare metal Raspberry Pi synths like this one, or strange 90s hardware, then please consider subscribing to this channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Seeing the subscriber numbers grow makes me happy and keeps me motivated to push out a new video every week or so. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially, you can use the super thanks button or buy some of my music on Bandcamp, which should be linked here or here. Thank you. One quick word on the sequencer I'm using here. This is a QI70, a 25-year-old handheld sequencer. I've pre-recorded six patterns here and arranged them into a song using the pattern track in song mode. I'll connect this to the Raspberry Pi using this USB to 5-pin MIDI adapter cable and I'll also use this USB hub here to connect my MIDI controller to the QI70. This is a necessity because at the moment the mini synth will accept one MIDI device at a time only.
Yeah, and that's it for today. Mini synth on the Raspberry Pi. A relatively simple build with a simple synthesizer, but definitely one to keep an eye on. And as always, thanks for watching. And see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.